Hello, grade 7 boys and girls from Rainbow International School. Welcome to this virtual learning program. We shall be discussing Chapter 4 from David Copperfield, authored by Charles Dickens. Chapter 4 is about David and his aunt. The settings are in Camp Dover and Canterbury, which is on the east of Kent. First, let's deal with the story elements, the characters. We have the same characters discussed in the previous chapters, but uh, we have the new ones as well. And in this cha chapter, we shall be meeting Mr. Dick, Aunt Betsy's companion, for 10 years, this is Mr. Dick, while uh, teaching young David how to fly a kite. We have Janet, Aunt Betsy's servant. Uh, we have Uriah here, Mr. Wickfield's assistant. This is Uriah Heep. He's described as uh, the person with an oily smile. And Mr. Wickfield, Aunt Betsy's lawyer. Mr. Wickfield is here with Agnes. Agnes is Mr. Wickfield's daughter. And this is a solo picture of a painting of Agnes. We have Dr. Strong, the headmaster of David's New School in Canterbury. This is Dr. Strong. Okay. Before reading uh, chapter 4, let's try to answer. We have the questions in your book on page 93. And we have the guide answers here. Can you guess what happens? It says circle Y if it's uh, yes and or N if your answer is no for each of these ideas. David's aunt refuses to help him because he isn't a girl. Of course not because uh, when, when he was born it was so. But now that he's grown up as young David, we will see whether our answer is correct. David's aunt becomes very fond of him. Here we have our guide answer. It's a yes, and we, that is for us to see. David dislikes his aunt and returns to London. Okay, again, with the sentence, we shall see what happened. Okay. Now you will be, you were assigned to read the chapter four. Uh, after we have ended the slides, the video presentation for chapter 3. But <clears throat> this time, have a quick look, revise chapter 4, and I shall be giving you like a few minutes to do so. Okay? Now, after having gone through the chapter again, your task was to prepare a summary as a uh, one of the things we have to do for each chapter. Now, a summary, the summary for this chapter is somehow written like this, but of course you, you've you got to send your uh, summary to our Discord group, boys and girls, okay? Now, let's try to read on with the summary and try to recall the story with this short paragraph. David went to the warehouse but didn't tell anyone that he was leaving. The Micobers have left for Devon and he was about to leave for Dover. However, his case and the only money he's got, which was be given by Peggotty, was taken by a man driving a horse-drawn cart. He cried thinking he would... He would uh, how would he ever get to Dover? But as he was decided to 
get there, he started to walk 100 kilometers for six days. He had to sell his jacket just so he could buy bread and milk. He had to sleep under trees or in disused farm buildings at night. In Dover, he found someone who led him to Aunt Betsy's house. He introduced himself and after some questioning, Aunt Betsy was finally convinced that he was her nephew's son. She wrote a letter to Mr. Murdstone inviting him to her house. He and his sister got some scolding from Aunt Betsy and they were driven out of her house. David was brought to Aunt Betsy's lawyer, Mr. Wickfield, in Canterbury, where he met Agnes and Uriah Heap. The following day, David met the headmaster of his new school, Dr. Strong. After a week, he was surprised to see Mr. Micawber, as nothing turned up in Devon, so they moved to Canterbury. David's life as a student in Dr. Strong's school was over, and before he decided what profession to choose, Aunt Betsy advised him to stay in London for a month or to travel around the country. So that's what the chapter is all about, and we... May answer the comprehension questions on this uh, in this slide. So let's see. The first question is: Compare Doctor Strong and David's new school with Mister Quickle and Salem House. So we're gonna write. You're gonna write the answer to this question together with the other one. Explain why did the speaker say it and who said it. Well, the first thing you should do is wash him. Okay, who said, uh, with these two questions, I'm expecting you to answer them and like before, uh, answer them and send a, a screenshot of your answer in the notebook, or right, in your copy book to my, uh, to our Discord group via direct messaging, okay? For enhancement and enrichment, you may um, copy the link below for you to go over some flashcards and then on the left hand panel of the web page you may take the test click on the word test and send your feedback to me via this number in whatsapp or for boys our discord link which will be sent to you uh, as soon as you have uh, sent me this message in whatsapp okay that would be all for now and thank you for your time and always be safe take care be healthy and happy virtual learning <laughs>